Hello there everyone, Silent Wisher here with another Astroneer video, and this one's going to be more of a voiceover talking type deal while the gameplay is playing on in the background, but uh, I decided for the first time to visit the moon on, or in Astroneer rather, and I've actually never been here. I usually skip this planet, but then I found out that there's no sandstorms or anything, so I was like, sign me up. So I set up a secondary base on the moon, um, and long story short, I found this the largest space shuttle wreck I've seen in the game so far and I was like man I definitely have to explore this so right now you're seeing me set up tethers and stuff and here in a moment I'll start digging and discovering what it has to offer but um I wanted to let you guys know that the moon although it doesn't have sandstorms it has very short day night cycles so if I remember correctly like the day night cycle was like three minutes or something crazy like that it was very very short and uh that's why I don't necessarily recommend it being a permanent planet for you, even though it's the only one that I know of that has no storms. Now this is the point, basically, once I wrapped my tethers around the ship, that I decided I'm going to go and dig up whatever this, this dude's got to offer. Um, a little bit of a spoiler alert, it was worth uh, checking out and looking into, but uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about while I dig this out was the fact that I actually started a new save separate from this one because the game is still pretty glitchy and it has its issues and stuff. So uh, I started a new save because I originally was going to go to the exotic planet and I did. I, I landed and I started to build. Problem was though, my character kept getting stuck on everything. Like every couple of feet, literally, my character would just get hung up on random things and my UI was like shaking violently like if my character was cold or something or maybe hot regardless there was no fix like getting in and out of a vehicle or a habitat or anything like that didn't fix it like sometimes it occasionally does with other glitches so I'm hoping it was just a fluke thing and the next time that I go to an exotic planet I don't have that problem um, because the exotic planets are pretty cool and from what I've read, you can actually find a certain place in the exotic planet to where you could have 24-7 daytime. So it would be really good for, uh, you know, having your base pretty much constantly powered with solar panels and whatnot. Um, and I believe there's also a place that they said that it's constantly windy as well. So you could actually use wind turbines compared to everywhere else where they're pretty much useless. But as you can see, I found this piece of research here in this giant ship. And... Usually these kind of pieces of research are worth a lot, and I believe this one was worth like six to eight thousand research or something like that. So it was definitely worth the effort to go in here and dig and find out what it had to offer. So if you need research, don't skip these kind of ships at all. Um, something I do have a question for the developers if they're out there watching, and maybe one of you guys know as well, I wonder if we can at some point get some of the props that are on this ship like those little red orbs and stuff um, the satellite dishes or whatever you know all, all this stuff would be really cool as decorative items and I know the game's far from finished but uh, I think it would be cool to have you know a bunch of decorative items and stuff like that too um, and then the other thing is I'm wondering when the dedicated service for this game is going to come out because it would you know this game would benefit greatly from it um, as of right now me and I think four or three other people, something like that, have the game, and they pretty much rely on me to host it, and uh, I don't have the best internet connection. I mean, I have the best hardware, but not the internet connection, so it would just be nice if those dedicated servers came out sooner rather than later, even if we had to update them constantly. Um, I'm kind of used to that, you know, with other games, but yeah, definitely when you guys see this on the moon or any other planet, for that matter, you should definitely dig it out and explore it because it's 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 worth checking out. As far as the planet guides go um, that I mentioned before in a previous video, uh, logistically those are going to take a lot of work, so I don't have a time frame on when those will be available. But I'm doing my best to get those sorted out. Um, I'm not going to promise them either because with how many glitches and stuff we're experiencing, it's kind of a project that relies on the game behaving itself. So we'll see what happens, but. If you're uh, new to the channel, or if you just enjoy this video and you're not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, and if you can answer any of my questions from earlier, that would be great. Um, 
And uh, as you can see, I found some lithium and three titanium. And uh, oxygen tanks are actually useful now, so definitely create those as well as a last bit of advice. So hit that subscribe button, everybody. Visit my website at silentwisher.com. And uh, that has all my videos and articles and everything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye for now.